few people to hop on here. Hello, Vern. Hello, Madeline. Long-time listeners. Get started with what... We're going to be doing two different drinks. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing the Murder Hornet, which is something that I came up with. Uh, Murder Hornet is going to be made with mango nectar. You can do any brand that you like. It's very sweet. It's going to have vodka. This is Rose City Vodka. They're out of my normal brand, the Portland Potato Vodka, but still a Portland brand, still Oregon. I'm going to try them out. It's also going to have dark rum. Any brand you like. I really like Whalers. I also like Kraken a lot. And then the mystery drink, as I promised, is going to be a Raspberry Jazzy, which is a sorbet uh, vodka and Prosecco drink. So we're going to be doing the same vodka. We're going to be doing, this is a La Marca Prosecco. I really like this brand. Taylor, we're fishing whenever you want to go fishing, bud. Uh, really good brand. Any brand of uh, Prosecco will do. And then uh, your preferred sorbet. I'm doing raspberry sorbet. Other Taylor, hello. Two Taylors, meet. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a, a good brand, but you could do it lemon, you could do it blackberry sorbet, whatever you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So we'll get started here. We're going to be doing the uh, Murder Hornet. It's been in the news a lot. Hello, Amelia. How are you doing, Amy? Amy and I went to elementary school together back in Portland a long time ago. She lived up the street from me. Alrighty, so this is the Murder Hornet. It's been in the news. We all know they're coming. Uh, I saw from a pretty reliable news source, I believe it was called the National Enquirer, that it, uh, thousands of people have already died. Uh, the only way that we can protect ourselves is quarantine. Uh, so, gotta be watching for those Murder Hornets, you guys. So, you're going to start in the mixer with, um, you're going to measure out how much you'd like of the mango nectar, about that much. That goes into the shaker. We're just going to shake it to mix up the vodka. Two ounces vodka, off in May. What's in a, what's a mango? <laughs> a mango is a alpine fruit from Sweden. Two ounces, premium vodka. We're just gonna go ahead and shake that. Oh, and then I, um, the other one is fresh lime juice. Always go fresh, never, ever, ever use the squeeze bottle. It's not worth it. We're gonna do an ounce and a half. Lime juice, give it a little bit of tang, otherwise that uh, mango nectar is a little bit overpowering. And we're gonna shake that up, give it a nice mix. Remember, whenever you're making a citrus drink, you shake it. If it doesn't have citrus, you're not gonna wanna shake it. It's gonna go right in the top. Nice slow pour. About to there. And uh, I came up with this drink, the Murder Hornet. They're uh, dark orange and brown, so we're gonna use a dark rum. And the way that you wanna do this, I'm gonna do it on the table, but I'll show you. You take a big spoon and you hold it over the top, and you're gonna pour really slowly, so that way that the, the rum sits right on top. It'll give it a pretty cool color. It's uh, called a brown rum floater. And you just really slowly pour it right in the middle of the spoon, and that will evenly distribute it. And this isn't really measured, you can if you'd like, but I pretty much do it freehand, a little bit more. And the purpose of the floater is you don't want to mix it in, you want to taste it. It's all about uh, tasting it. So there you go. Uh, brown and orange murder hornet, dark rum floater. Let's see how it tastes. That's really good. Get a lot of uh, tang from that lime juice. 
Very, very good. Alrighty. Clean up my mess here a little bit. Next drink is called a Raspberry Jazzy. It's a frozen, kind of slurpy type of drink. Very, very good. We're gonna be serving it in an up glass. Take our shaker, rinse it out. And you're gonna do two pretty good sized scoops of sorbet of your choice. Like I said, I'm doing um, raspberry. This is a very refreshing summer drink. And then two ounces vodka. Two ounces vodka. Yes, Madeline, you can have that one, this one. <laughs> then you're gonna put some ice in the top. The ice in the shaker really just helps it mix up. I'm gonna give it a good shake. You just really wanna mix that sorbet into it. And I actually, uh, you can see how cold that gets. It's nice and frosty now. And I actually start over, I just got here, Liz. <laughs> There is a rewind button. I encourage those who are just joining us to use it. And that'll get very slippery, very hard to grab, but pop the top off. You're gonna serve it in the up glass. And it's a very sorbet filled goodness drink. Shake things around if the pour gets too slow. And that is cold. My hand is burning. <laughs> You're gonna fill it about that much in your glass. What are you making for us all this weekend? Well, judging by our family, probably something strong. And we're gonna go in for the Prosecco, little pop top. And that just goes straight in the top. And there you go, really, really fizzy, really cool. and very tasty. Like I said, whatever sorbet you're into, if you like lemon, it's really good with lemon, uh, but the raspberry is my favorite, so. Cheers, guys. There's the Murder Hornet and a Raspberry Jazzy. I recommend trying them both. This one's really, really good for summer. Very, very cool. Have a great rest of your week, you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Tune in next week.